Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Unearthed Overview. There seem to be more and more educational stuff appearing on the store and in general that's a good thing because then the platform is more versatile in terms of the content. Problem is that the games tend to be more polished and have a fully realized concept which the apps for the most part are lacking so that's essentially why the Quest headsets are coming across as a gaming devices for the community rather than something all around. So Unearthed is an adventure interactive educational app where you step into the Amazon and Alaskan biomes to experience the journey in nature with your own eyes and search for the missing research professor. I'm already past the gameplay impressions which are as follows. I think the overall idea and concept are pretty cute with the comedy and just acting skills of the actors but it has a variety of issues in terms of the execution, locomotion, graphics like there's just a lot of stuff is simply missing to make it a cohesive experience for nowadays standards. I did learn a couple new things which I never expected to so there's definitely some underlying potential to transfer some interesting and valuable information for the players though it feels like something that you would play in the early beginning days of the quest platform. It is relatively slow paced as well like in the whole 20 minutes I didn't really see much. There's a lot of dialogues going on, video clips and the overall thing feels like a film rather than a game but all in all after some key changes and hopefully that will happen in the future it will be a rather decent app because for now it's just very average let's go explore the nature it's a mixed reality game i wasn't asleep i was resting my eyes who are you? If you don't mind me asking, what interview? Sorry. Uh, do me a favour, pass the battery. I don't know why I can't hold any charge. Like, it's just like, it goes in the thing. <laughs> press, the, press the red button. Thank you. Welcome to Unearth, and thank you for your application. But first, a short safety briefing. There's going to be animals, nature, some mild violence. Please keep your arms inside the grizzly at all times. Outside, sorry, outside. I confuse inside and outside. <laughs> Which best describes you? Dog person? Cat person? Bug person? Every animal I have dies, <laughs> so... Fantastic. I'm a dog person myself. Already know I'm going to love working with you. Which best describes you? Carnivore? Vegetarian? Pescatarian? The last one's fish. I know you know it's fish, but that's not everyone's fish. <laughs> Jesus, the interactions. I'm so glad you like me. You're going to see an awful lot of it. You did say raw. Have you practiced cannibalism? Yes? No? Prefer not to say. Depends on the meaning. Of course we'd all prefer not to be a cannibal. Your secret goes in the vault. What is your worst phobia? Enclosed spaces? Heights? Being eaten alive? I mean, those are very mild. Very unpleasant cleaning up after one of those, but it's pretty rare. Can't remember the last time. Can you access a change of underwear? Yes? No? What's underwear? I'm going to be straight. I had an accident one time and now it's on the risk assessment. No idea. I wonder if this will have like an impact on the gameplay. Fine, just keep it to yourself. I don't think that should even be an option as an answer. That's us legally covered. Brilliant. We just need to run your answer through... The... Oh, that was quick. You're in. Very good stats. Might need to keep an eye on you during the piranhas. Have I introduced myself? I keep getting this weird deja vu. That's French. It means corrupted memory. I'm fairly sure my name's Hazzy. That's two Zs. Stands for... Let me look it up. Oh, wow. I'm a human and zoological zero-G interface. What's your acronym? I'm getting an error message. Where's it coming from? Professor! I have to take this. Professor, I've been trying to reach you. Oh my word, what happened to you? Hello, this is... Oh, 
Well, I suppose it's an emergency message, really. Oh, what's the word? Mayday! That's it. Battery's running on fumes. No time for massive amounts of context. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in the Amazon. It's all sorts of exciting predators. It's a miracle I've lasted this long, to be honest. Any chance you could get down here as soon as you can? Oh, before you go, this is really important. The dangers to look out for are... Okay, that's quite a lot to take in. Bit of a curveball there. I'm not prepared for emergencies, not built for any kind of stress, really. I wish she wouldn't go out on these incredibly dangerous research trips without proper backup. Actually, I think we're the backup. So, yikes, in at the deep end. Well, you heard her, in you go, she's counting on us. Have you never used a bi orb? Fair enough, neither have I. Gets you closer to nature, that's all I know. Don't worry, I've seen plenty of candidates disappear, never to be seen again, so I know it works. Pick it up, stick your face in it, exact same way you stick your face in. Look, you, you know more about faces than I do. It's a teleport, and you stick your face in it, so stick your face in it. <laughs> the die ducks. What the? I'm up here. Nod your head if you can hear me. Your head's too small. Wave your arms. That's not your death rose, is it? Oh, good. Welcome to the Amazon. Isn't it great? The only... I don't want to alarm you. There's been a slight scaling error. You've gone fairly small, I won't lie. But I'm going to keep hitting Control-Z. Just bear with me. Bear with me. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, there. Okay. Closer to nature. Right. Very good. To be fair, it is pretty amazing down here, don't you think? She's very good at this. I've been indoors too long. Can't wait for you to meet her. Oh, I wouldn't step on that. The professor must have dropped it. Looks like it might be a message. Well, I'll guess. Message. I wonder how you play it. Any ideas? Oh, <laughs> I've got something in my eye. Steady, we may not be compatible. OK, go ahead and put it in. If it's crucial exposition and I chew it up, that's on you. <laughs> You're too far. Tastes all right, actually. Oh, look who it is. I knew this was a big step coming down here. And right down inside nature. I mean, I knew... No, I, I, I didn't know anything. I, mean, I had no idea how amazing it would feel. I mean, not the first idea. I've never felt more alive. Come on. Come on. What the hell is this? What's she doing? Come She's on. saying, come, on. come and eat me. I mean, I had to start here. This is the first bit of nature that blew my mind when I was a kid. You know, I used to think that animals are smarter than plants, but how wrong can you be? Come on. Oh, here he is. Oh, look at you. Next stop, giant Amazon water lily. OK, it's a journal file. Amazing and fun facts in easy digestible chunks. Oh. Mm. Sorry, repeating on me a bit, that one. Don't know why she left it out here. Never mind. I suppose we better find out what went wrong with her foolproof plan to fly around the Amazon on an insect. We'll need this. You take it. Wave that about. It's got starch. They love carbs. Oh, no. Now, all we have to do is be patient and wait until... Oh, look out! Ah, shit! <laughs> Try feeding him. He's a beetle. Perfectly harmless. Ew! There you go, Bertie. Give him a pat on the head and he might let you climb on. I don't want to touch this. See, he likes it. He likes you. Anytime you feel like giving me a pat, feel free. Now climb up. 
Is there any locomotion and stuff? Like... Doesn't seem like it because I was seeing the settings beforehand. Like it's a little bit confusing. I mean, there's another journal file. It must be deliberate. She's leaving a trail for us. Ow! You treat your poster like that. I used to think flowers just stood around waiting to be pollinated, but no way. That lily does all the work. She reaches out to make this happen. And this pineapple smell, that's her. She's drawing us in like a magnet. She's the boss. Hold tight. Bertie's caught the scent. We're off. Good thing you're not afraid of heights. If you do fall off, you won't be scared. Those wings are like... Grab the pollen, get as much as you can. It's all about the pollen. Interfering with my visuals. Stack up that pollen count. <sighs> <laughs> what is this, Sting Fighters? I mean, I don't think I need to explain that the graphics are bare bones. But it's very confusing what's even going on. Like, is this an education app or... That is unbelievable. You didn't miss a single one. You must have done this before. Are you a plant? I think that might be our lily. All the way down there. I can't even steer the beetle. She's absolutely gigantic. Incredibly beautiful. I really must get out more. I'm missing out. I can't see any sign of the professor. I, I don't know what I'd do if anything happened to her. She made me. Don't get me wrong, I'd be very sad if anything happened to you. Just wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't, I'd get over it, is the point. They must be here for the starch. Getting a little bit lively in here. This part's more for the bug people. Bear with us. Oh, what's happening? We're getting trapped. It's a trap. I knew it. We're going to get digested. There's going to be acid. Meanwhile, everyone's busy stuffing their faces. It's not ideal. Journal file. This had better be good news. Do lilies do that? Oh, it's getting steamy in here. She's she's closing up to protect her beetles from predators and from getting dehydrated from the heat. And to make sure that she gets that pollen. Uh-huh. And it's working. The pollen is turning this female flower into a male. White for girls and pink for boys. What a night! By morning, the beetles will be covered with male pollen, and then off to the next. Are we going to be stuck in here all night? Oh my god, the beauty of it. It's, it's too much. It's, it's, it's everything I hoped for. It's, <laughs> I just need a moment. Okay, Jesus. I think we all do. Well, not Bertie.
Wow, doesn't time fly when you're trapped inside a flower? Feels like we just got here. He's saying goodbye. Give him a pat. He's off to the next party. Wait, we need to escape here. Insect and flowers, what a team. Do you think one day me and you could be as... What's that noise? Sounds like water. Bit concerning. For you. We're sinking. She didn't say anything about this. There's another journal file. Grab it. Grab it. It's the file. And it's done. The flower dies back as it sets its seed and sinks to the bottom of the pool. What a way to go. I'd better catch the last beetle out of here. Now she tells us. Bertie, come back. You missed a bit. I've got to say I'm envious. Go on, do that thing you do when you're in trouble. You know when all your memories flash before your eyes. I'd love to be able to do that. <laughs> What's that noise? Is that a death rattle of some kind? Strangely familiar. Get back. And we're full size. This is the lab. We're going to need this up and running so we can find the professor. First things first, do you know how to move about? Push forward on either of your joysticks to pick where you want to go and release to move. Now we have a commotion. And everything is teleport based with snap turning. Still no controls about it. Push forward. You can also rotate using the joystick. Just push it left or right. Very handy that. Now, nip over to this button. Hit the button for the first two batteries. Grab a battery and shove it in. Beautiful. And again. It feels like I would go back in time in terms of VR mechanics. Good job. Last two are over here. Ah, oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Did I tell you about that special glove power you have? Reach out, hold the trigger and point and pull the controller towards you. Well done. Slightly tricky move, that one. Get it in. The problem is that pulling is with trigger. But then grabbing keeps with grab, so you have two inconsistent movements. Last one. Point and pull and ram it home. I've been offline. Who's this? What are you doing bringing an inexperienced candidate into the lab without permission? I don't know what you were thinking. The professor authorised me? It's an emergency. Penny, may I introduce... Sorry, what did you say your name was? Over here, please. Go on. It's quicker if you just do what she says. I'll be supervising your induction from now on. Penny stands for Pro Environment Non Native Interface. Cat person. She thinks she's the boss. We need to talk about the professor. Hazzy, it's time for your nap. What? Activating I'm sleep mode in time. five, four. Deactivate assistant designation, Hazzy. Mm. Much better. Penny doesn't stand for anything. The professor called him Hazzy after the hazard lights on her scooter. Use the button on the desk to upload the journal files. I'll find the professor. Straight to the point. This is the review screen. It shows the data you collected out in the field. 
For each journal file you found, you're awarded a nature point. Here you can see a summary of your previous Biorb adventure and key data facts you recorded along the way. You're welcome. That's odd. It's saying there's hidden information in the journal files you just collected. Press the button again to decrypt it. I'm intrigued. It's like I would be in school or something. <laughs> I sometimes think it was a dream. It's hard to believe I was ever inside a flower. I don't like being big. Why should we walk all over nature? It should be the other way around. The flower should be able to hold us. She should be the boss. I have to stop here because of the recording length. Also, she's distorted on the video, so that's a little bit weird going on. I would say that going into the application, I had no idea what it's going to be about, but it seems like it's sort of an educational experience with some interactivity, but like everything is very baseline, basic and bare bones in terms of the VR mechanics, graphics, pretty much everything besides the actual idea, which is pretty cute, but the execution is definitely holding it back, like I would be transported to the OG quest times. Some foveated rending going on on the sides, even though nothing is really hard on the headset. The settings are also not enough, like there should be some locomotion modifications and just more stuff on top of what's already here. I think after the huge enhancements in terms of the quest 3 and just pushing the envelope for what's possible for the platform, then this might be relatively cute. For now, this is not enough for nowadays standards that we have. And it's a shame because there is some decent level of comment going on, the acting and concept itself, but it's just not enough in general.